live yet? working seems like it's working oh boy let's get the volume no the volume's fine You think you can win? Oh, this load is crazy. It's a little rough on the frame rate. It's too bad there's no frame counter. Six BB, the classic. Yes. Ah. Oh, that's his back. Hey, now sick. To guard all. Some counter hits. Attack. Ah, oh, still a counter hit string. Sick. Yes. Sucks now. Alright. Well, maybe he doesn't suck. I don't know. Oh, that's forward K now? Oh! Nice. And that bounce is weird. I know, I know, you hold me to go to prep. I know, I know, Bill. Alright. People actually like this song? This song sucks. Wow, the first move on the list. The forward, forward, B. So that stuns now. That's cool. Maybe it did that in the past few games. I didn't do that before, though. And he could go into prep if he holds B. I know that already. Ooh. Is that a normal hit? Bleed. Is there a way to leave the move on screen? Like Tekken style? Uh, Y help. I don't know what Y is since I'm on the 
PlayStation 3 controller. What's going on, Frozen Zerker? 66B. I don't know what the B means like that, Bill. Does that mean tap or hold? 66B, hold B, 6B. Oh, is that a combo on counter hit? That's a classic. He had that in Soul Calibur 2 also. That's the uh, core. Ooh, what was that? Is that some sort of just frame shit? Oh. <laughs> 42. 38. Oh, we got just frames. We got just frames. All right. This motherfucker thinks he's Paul Phoenix. All right. There it is. Okay. I gotta turn counter hit on so he gets hit by the whole thing so I can see the damage. So the 42. Let's turn this off. 42 damage. Continue action one. There it is. So, okay. Five more damage. So the timing is when the second hit connects of 6B. You hit the third B, right when the second hit connects. It's pretty generous, so it's not that hard. Can you mash it? You can't mash it. Nah, you got you gotta time it, but it's a pretty easy just frame. Alright, cool. Alright, well let me go down the list. I'm I'm I I don't wanna get too all over the place. I'm just like I was just checking out what he had from before. Soul Calibur 2. I know he still has uh this. But unlike Soul Calibur 2, you uh, input 8-way run uh, 9 or 3-B. So 9-9-B nine, nine or 3-D-B. And it seems like on counter hit, he gets that foot stab. Oop. Oop. I've, I've always been bad at these Soul Calibur style movements. Oh. Whatever. Alright. So he doesn't have that old 1-B. Uh, Right? I know he has the uh, old 4-4-A, uh, four, four, uh, but it's just 4-A now, this. Bam. But he doesn't get a full launch off of the stun. His stun's on normal hit, but he doesn't get a full launch. At least not with that. His 1-B, uh, or 3-B rather, it's a completely different move now. That launch is really high on counter hit. And his 3-B goes into prep. I, ner I learned that by accident. Prep. Prep is his stance, for those of you that don't know. Raphael. We're going to go down the list. The listy lists. So, Dread Coffin, right? All right, there's no way to display this, right? Why? Um, well, this doesn't help. There's no way to display the move on top. I have to keep pausing and going into this. That sucks. Especially since my buttons are all weird because it's a fucking dual, um, PlayStation 4 controller. The uh, TE2. So, that's either 9966 or 33B plus K. Oops. I'm having trouble doing 99 without jumping. Be careful that my index finger doesn't flick on uh, when I try to hit B plus K. My index finger sometimes taps A also, and that gets in the super. No full launch off of that. 
That bounce is weird. I wonder if there's anything guaranteed off of that. Nope. Doesn't seem like anything's guaranteed. It seems like you hit them as if they're standing if, if I hit them with anything afterwards. So would the combo be Is there a way to do that faster? Ugh, that damage sucked. Imagine air control will fuck with that combo though. If you try to do too many hits, it seems like just going into prep and doing beat does good damage. It's like, why even think about it? Oh, whatever. Let's see. Oh, that first hit is old. I've never seen that second hit though. Ooh, whoop, back, back. Wait, oops. Main attacks. So. That used to be a counter hit move in Soul Calibur 2. Let's see. Ah, oh, this is weird. I gotta get used to this training mode. So, it's a launcher on counter hit? No, wait, he sets a stand guard all. So that's a normal hit launcher. So nothing special encountered except for damage. What's up, J Money? Yeah, I know you have to commit. It doesn't seem like there's any way to counter hit confirm or anything like this. Or confirm. That's a normal hit launcher. So if you sidestep something, it's a nice way to launch somebody. No prep if I hold B. Nope, no prep. He doesn't have prep off of one forward, uh, one six B either anymore. He has to do six B B to go to prep. Oh yeah, his B B string. I don't know if it's only the third and fourth fit of that combo, but that string, but you could just frame. This song sucks. Why do people like this fucking song? This shit is already giving me a fucking headache. Welcome to the stage of history. I like this music and I like the main menu music so far a lot. That Witcher song is trash. You think you can win? You think you can win? Think you can win? Stand against the storm. Let's check the stage out. Is that Sephiroth hair on a dog? That move is still gonna be a great whiff punish for him, looks like. Thrust! <laughs> I wish he still said that. Thrust! That was so much, so much more satisfying. Too slow. Thrust! <laughs> he sounded like such a bitch. This is a character for Lee players. So, lethal hit. I still don't know what the lethal hit mechanic really means, really is, or anything like that. But, man. That shit hits hard. What's it look like on counter hit? Nothing. Okay. So I gotta learn what the lethal hit thing means. I'll do that later. Ooh, my back. 
Okay, classic. It's still a counter hit string. You can go to prep on the second and third hits, right? Only on a second hit? Ooh. <laughs> Oh, he doesn't have the side step out of it anymore. Oh, that's side. I missed that. He would like spin around and he will keep going in front of your face with his sword. <laughs> that was so cool before. He doesn't have that anymore. Now he has the only the dodge and the back step that GIs. Ooh, triple bottom in tempo. So we know that there's a uh, just frame on the last hit. Vicious lullaby. Forward AA. Well, I should be going through her like B attacks and then A attacks, right? This is only like his signature moves or so whatever. Uh, stand the guard all, please. So this is a natural. Oop. I have counter hit on still, don't I? No, I don't. So that's a natural combo. Good damage, but it looks a little slower than other AAs. That's why it's forward AA. What's up, Majong? I like that it shows you a guard crush percentage. So that spin, Aris was just talking about that, wasn't he? I was watching him a second ago. So that means... No, it doesn't do that. Okay. Damn. That takes forever. Okay, no, it's up standing. All right. Oop. Whatever. That seems like a decent tracking move, I guess. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not going to get super in depth here. I don't know enough about Soul Cobra to do that. <sighs> so that's his new uh, 3B. He goes into prep. Ah, this is one I was looking at. So this low, I was checking it earlier when I first noticed it. The animation is funny as hell because he, like, looks up and flails his free arm in the air almost as if he's like trying to distract you from stabbing you in the fucking toe like Ugh. i test this earlier and it seems to definitely be negative on hit unless he goes to the prep is my assumption let's see if we can find that out right now by recording so let's fuck with the record here record the slot right we're gonna record right We're gonna go back here. We're gonna act select action one. Continue action one, and then action one is gonna be play recording one. Right? See? Oh, that looked like it went under his high. <laughs> So my standing, my 5B clashes, same frame. So it's probably not that negative, right? Yeah, so it's probably not super negative, but... All right, now let's check out prep. So then the question becomes... Uh, oop, gotta turn this shit off. Weird. Man, the way they did this is so weird. Oh my god, I'm so used to Tekken. It's gonna take me a while to get used to this training mode, guys. Stand normal. So, let's see if we get a feel for what the faster looking moves in prep are. Seems like you could just do 6B. Well, it looks like the old 6B, but that last hit is, is unique. So that's probably looks like his fastest move, if I already guess. That looks a little slower, but not too slow. 
Oh, what? This motherfucker got the uh, Charlie. Charlie Nash. Alright, that stance is still a commitment. Oh, cheat hides a low, huh? Cheating ass bitch. Alright. Okay, so that's thrust. That's a slow move, right? Oh, we got lows, but he has to do that stupid dodge. Yeah, I'm sure that means guard break or something, right? What the fuck? What was that? Why'd he stab in the opposite direction? What the fuck? What does that even do? So that's a GI backstep. Oh, what a dirtbag. You saw that stop? <laughs> Ugh, he fucking draw kicked him in the toe. Am I a Soul Calibur veteran? Hell no, I'm not a Soul Calibur veteran. I play some Soul Calibur 2, that's it. And I casually played part three, four, and five. Thrust! All right, so let's see uh, if I record that back. Setting slot number one. All right, well, I'm holding back to block. Whatever, doesn't matter if he blocks or not. I'm just testing frame advantage. I wonder how people are getting a frame data on some of these moves. I see people sharing frame data for like attacks on Twitter. I'm like, how the fuck do you know this? Is, is there like a Tekken style jab where you could like base all your frame data around in this game? So my kick is slower than my uh, 6B, that's for sure. So 6B is probably my fastest move. So this string is definitely unsafe.
Oh boy, so much. Oh no. Alright, so this low is definitely plus when he goes to prep. Yep. That, that, it's like they're showing you this is important because that's probably his actual frame trap out of this. In most instances. That's my assumption here. Oh, weird. So, going into prep out of that. Alright, we gotta turn this shit off now. They needed to make this a toggle. I don't get it. Just copy Tekken. That's all you had to do. Copy Tekken's record. Why did you have to do this weird ass shit? No reason not to. And I turn that off. I have to do all this. Oh man, this makes it so tedious. Alright. It really does. 55. That's about the same damage that I got off of the. Um, Okay, one less damage, but that looks like it gives me a good Oki. I mean, you can do that cool looking shit, or you can just do that straightforward shit. Alright. Interesting, though. Coolest. Combo 2. <laughs> nice stab. <laughs> oh! Oh, he needs a counter hit. Oh, yeah, I already saw that. That does that on counter hit. Weird. So when you're in that stun state, A, B knocks you on your ass. And then you go into prep forward B. That's a sick combo. Oh, shit. All right. Let's see how much damage that does. That's a sick looking combo, which I'm sure does much better shit if you explore Oh boy, okay. Wait. How do I do the stab again? doesn't give me that is he going into prep he is going into prep that's why oh man so that's a commitment you have to commit going into prep out for 4 4 b all right and you don't know if you're gonna get a counter hit Six damage. All right, so the scaling is hits hard. There's no percentage for the scaling, unfortunately, but whatever. Maybe I could turn that on somewhere. Display settings, health go, everything is on. There's nothing for the uh, display. Replays. Ooh, that's a cool feature. I wasn't around before. All right, what's this? BB Super. Alright, yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, now let's go, go by, uh. Wait, um. This is right, right? Main attacks, lethal hits, special moves, throws. It's weird that they ordered it this way. It should be ordering it, like, the other way. Yeah, horizontal. Alright. Okay, so A A. Okay. We know it's not as fast as move. A B if you want to go high low. Alright, that's probably a little more of a commitment. It does do that spin stay. Which I don't know what that means. That's a lethal hit. That's an old move. Special low. This is an actual low. This is a classic. He had that before. That's his old uh, back back A. That's a lethal hit move. 
Same thing as uh, down A. While standing A. During jump. Facing away. Oh, back turn? Down A from back turn. Still the special load, fortunately. Alright, that's it, huh? Not a lot of variety on his A attacks. So this is the one that has uh, just frames, which it doesn't show here, oddly enough. Oh, no, here it is. Yeah, see? Third and fourth hit, just frames. Now, is this a uh, counter hit string? Let's see. It is. Wait, is it? No, it's not. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Second hit on counter hit gets him the rest. So, what happens if he, um... Blocks the first hit and tries to swing or something. Let's see what happens. I recorded this on myself. Play the recording. Okay, so the first who hits essentially jail. Yeah, it's only the third hit. So the second hit counter hitting is not a thing that's going to happen unless he starts up from far away or you sidestep and get hit, I guess. Oh, he has this. This is like B till that down. Okay. Okay, so B down, B down, that's how you do that now. That's his old 1B. Now 1B is this. Oh, it's not delayable like it used to be. It's so cover too, at least. Natural combo. That's cool. It's not delayable, but it's natural combo, so... Oh, it's counter. Okay. Counter hit natural combo. We got it. Ah, this used to, this used to be back, back, B. Okay. That's his trademark. Yep, we know about that. Okay, so he doesn't go to prep, but he does go into his auto guard shit. His GI, auto GI. BB goes to the prep, yes. That's his, uh, yep. Went through that already. That looks like it crushes highs. Goes in high. That goes to prep also. Wow, DP? The fuck is that? That does a grip too. <laughs> that was in a combo. We 
got a fastest input. Forty two damage. That oh, wasn't good damage. Okay, so that combos might be good for shit like that. 55. All right. Well, let's play around with it. That's a weird move. Lethal hit. Lethal hit. That used to be a low. That's a lethal hit move now. While standing BB. Goes it to the GI. Jumping me. Facing away me. <sighs> the bullets aren't that long. That used to be his up forward K, now it, or 9K. Now it's forward K. Or maybe it used to be his down forward K. Well, whatever. That's the classic. I don't know if it's still any good. Let's see if this is still as cheap as it used to be. Probably not, but you know. Record, I say. Alright, so... Uh, I'm always fucking this up. We want to go to free. Action one. Play recording one. Yes. Oh my god. Damn, this shit sucks. <laughs> Negative? Oh, that crushes, yeah. Alright. Alright, so it's not that negative, but still. Oh, this shit sucks. No good. No good. Smell something bad. Ah, uh, this low doesn't knock down anymore. Is this plus? Let's find out. This is why you always pick two of the same character. It lets you test what's plus. You may not get an exact amount of how plus it is, but at the very least, you'll know it's plus. If you don't, if you're going in completely blind like I am right now. Play the recording. Let's get the recording out. Uh, that better be plus. He's got to have some plus lows that don't need prep, right? At least one. Just give me one. I mean, he has a lot of knockdown lows, at least, I guess. Oh, my God. Okay. Man, Soul Calibur hates plus lows. They end, They put an end to that shit after Soul Calibur 2, it feels like. It's like your, your low either knocks down or it's negative. No in between. That looks really fast. What? Am I crazy or is it the exact same animation? Rough has asked something like this before. Where forward forward K was the same as up forward K, but the frame data was different. But it's the same animation. Alright, well. If you want a lethal hit, you need back forward. Okay, 
so he does have a little from facing away. And that's it for kicks. That's a classic. He does this when he does the dodge if you press B. B A. Hmm. What does B A mean? B A. Break attack. Oh yeah, so that's why it has the blue electricity it can guard break. Ooh. Damn, back turn? Holy shit. That's a classic. That's a classic too. That's a annoying classic that used to get in the way of what I was actually trying to do. And so Cobber too. Oh, that's the weird ass stab shit. Advance? Oh. <laughs> so you can aim this attack? <laughs> what a weird attack. So like if you have a read on what direction somebody's going in, you could just stick that shit right in their fucking rib cage. It's pretty sick. I wouldn't call that a good move, but you know. Alright, this is a classic. This is a parry. Sure what that is. Yeah. yeah, so that's him doing this one. Spiral envelopment. I don't know what circular envelopment does. Oh, you can do it from back turn also. Taunt. Why is there a heart playing when he does uh, certain things? Bloody slicer. Deadly strikes. Above A, B. So high, low. It's a prep. Okay, that's a classic. He had that before. I don't remember if it had this input, though. That goes into prep. Okay. Broken thrust. Ooh, I love the name. That's, <laughs> that's the classic. I used to use that shit as a whip punish in Soul Calibur 2. It was really good. He just jumps forward and just... Bah. Now it has counter hit properties. Thrust! He still has that, low. That's that launcher. Oh, that's what that does. That's a knockdown low now. Oh, that's a classic counter hit launcher. Or counter hit stun. Oh, what a weird ass move. I, I wonder if this rings out behind him. It probably does, right? got that all right the classic oh come on they shortened it they used to, he used to do like double the amount of stabs that used to be one of the coolest throws whatever that's another classic same throws same throws undertaker yes that throw still looks cool. There it is. He has to be soul charged to get the old animation, huh? I love that throw so much. The last one he stabs your leg out so you fall to one knee, bat, and then he fucking catches you right in the face. All right, that's weird. So they made that locked behind soul charge mode. All right. Okay, we already know that. So he can't go into prep without doing a move. Okay, so prep AA, bam, bam. That's a mid mid. Prep AB, mid high. 
So it seems like A, B, and you go back into prep, you get a free follow-up. If you commit to prep. Oh, wow. He used to have that move outside of prep. Now he only has it in prep. That used to be A up forward or something like that. Or, yeah, I think it was A9 to do that move before. Yep, that has it too. Okay. B, B. Oh, B, B, prep. BK. Ooh. Rapid Headhunter. BBA. Ooh. Gimmicky shit here. A lot of lows. Ah. Exact timing. I don't know if you need exact. I kind of mashed that out when I did that combo. Ooh. So he has a mid uh, tracking option, looks like. Yeah, see, this is what I was doing by accident. I'm still unsure about what the purpose of this is. <laughs> he could go into his soup. Okay, that's cool. I don't know the uh, mechanics of the supers in this game, but if they, like, beat out all other attacks, that's cool. Ooh, what's that do? R-E, reversal edge. So his reversal edge is only in prep? His reversal edge is only in prep. So if you like mash on prep, you can just reversal edge your ass? Interesting. Oh, and he could fake it and it <laughs> What does that even mean? Sick. Alright. Oh my god. There's a lot going on. This is all probably super linear. It's always been the, the case with this guy. Oh, so you can do it even before the attack. Oh, wow. So he has follow-ups to his reversal edge, huh? And he can go into prep. <laughs> preparation, preparation. <laughs> he, can stay, he can stay in it by holding forward. Yep. <laughs> okay, so alternative inputs. Now we're going to those. A, B. Okay. B. Oh, we got a mid launcher. And this is a low, right? Yep. Bam! Oh, fucking drop kick you in the toe. He does the Dowsome dive. Damn. Oh! Oh, damn. How much, how much damage does that do? How much damage does that do? No blocking. How much damage is that? 40? Yo, double the damage. Damn. That little takes forever. That's like Steve's jumping stomp punch from uh, Tekken, right? Does a grip. Does a grip. He can go back into prep. Guard break. That knocked out low. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. Come on. Well, he still has that. Damage, but that move was never that good, right? Come on. All right. 
So is it going to show me the lethal hit? Okay, so if you duck a high... Oh, wow. Oh, if you block punish with that, it's a lethal hit? Jesus. A lethal hit gives you, like, special combos, right? If you sidestep with that, ooh, sick. I like this. This is like Virtual Fighter, where they're rewarding you from use for using these moves in specific ways. That means you're rewarded for having a good read, you know, a very specific good read. I like the idea behind this. This may lead to some broken shit. We don't know yet, you know. Fast size demo. Oh. That seems like it might be back turn. I don't know. Oh. Is that only for throws, though? Oh, that's because he tried a reversal ledge. I see. That does a core screw? <laughs> That's a core screw move. That's a Tekken move. So this is just counter hit, I think. Violent blood. Maybe not. It wasn't clear what he did. He just stood there and took it. Weird. That's it. That's Raph's move list, huh? Combat lessons. Raphael. Beginner. That's the mini home vertical strikes. Swift strike, speed, and reach attacks are, much, uh, are matchless. Make good use of swift, long range moves such as broken thrust. <laughs> I love the name of that move. Uh, yep. And that new stab, which gives you the ability to react before your opponent if they guard. Wait, what? Are they implying that these are both plus? Is that what they're applying here? If you are able to evade an opponent's attack with the eight weight run, use a Valiant Falchion or BB to lift your opponent to the air and juggle them. All right, so. They're basically saying Valiant Falcon, Valiant Fal Falchion, Falcon? <laughs> uh, Sidestep and so BB. Dominate melee bounce with rapid moves. When close to your opponent, triple border. That's the fastest that can use both offensive and defensive. If your opponent maintains a strong guard, use the middle attack and the. Alright, this is basic shit. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Um, preparation stats to connect moves. You can hunt your opponent with the underworld call. Or try fold slash during prep. Dealing with evasive force. Vertical strikes are extremely powerful but can be avoided relatively easily with AA run. Moves such as the vicious of the bio, as I predicted, forward AA. Alright. They usually make the anti side step moves like decent, but not too crazy, it seems. Make it up for the preparation stance weakness. While this fighting style offers a host of strong vertical attacks, it's vulnerable to a quick horizontal evasions followed by counter attacks. However, a wrestle edge from the preparation stance can help solve that problem. You can transition into the preparation stance from most vertical attacks, allowing you to quickly perform another move. Use this to your advantage and quickly slip into a reversal edge to punish your opponent's opportunistic attacks. Granted, some attacks may be too quick for you to avoid, but that doesn't make this technique any less important. No shit. I think the help you compensate for your style's weakness is the whatever during prep back, which is the auto GI, I know that. 
Use it to back away from your opponent, quickly avoid their attack. You can also use heavy whatever, uh, A plus B, or A, B, to faint and maintain ideal distance for your opponent. Crush your opponent's guard with a shadow evade. Yeah. During prep B, Madrick heal. Take a pass your opponent's guard. So mix up Minilo is what they're saying. Master. Stay sharp and aim for a lethal hit. Fight style excels when wielded by user can quickly, precisely analyze their opponent's attacks and effectively deliver devastating counters. The moves of simple low become lethal hits when used to counter. So avoid your opponent's attacks, land one of your own, and then unleash a fierce combo. So if you counter hit, horizontal swipes, back forward A, gets vertical strikes, back forward B, it gets kicks, back forward K, it gets throws while crouching uh, down forward B. Against break attacks, the course will go back B. Weird. Use forms to react to attacks. Both spiral element, good for evading high and middle attacks. Okay, so the other one is from low and middle. Okay. Avoid guard breaks and even unlockable attacks. Time may be difficult to master, but can help you slip past attacks. The other styles are forced to guard against. When you successfully evade an attack, use the uh, sly repulse, repulsetti. A counter. A middle attack with long reach, it cannot be counted even if your opponent guards, so it is extremely strong at move at mid range. So, are they saying you can't be punished? You can unleash it more quickly for prep stats, do so, but turn it into a break attack and make it powerful against reversal edges. Wow. So, it's very effective if you evade an attack at mid range. Unleash it immediately if your opponent goes for a reversal edge, I guess a feint, after you slip into a prep stance. This is Critical Edge. That's a super. Weird. So his his super is safe, huh? Soul Charge there. Additional horizontal attack files. Uh Normally, very weak course has access to the Viper Hiss during Soul Charge forward AB and Renegade Thrust during Soul Charge back AB. Uh, turn into a strong follow up break attack. So you can put his stocks on the opponent's premise an eight way run or a wrestle edge, huh? You may be a general lack of attack power. The damage you can do increase in many ways during a soul charge. For example, you gain access to the speedy style death throws during soul charge. Oh, he has a fourth hit off of six BB during soul charge. Rampage on the queen B. BBA plus B. And improved thousand hornets. So it's deal more damage. It can ring out an opponent more easily. So does that mean it has the soul copper two ring out where it's from far away? If you fail the punch, most that you can faint and go on the offensive. Huh. Maybe able to ring out. Ooh, or perform a wall combo. Sick. How do I go into uh, Soul Charge? Oh, so he could do the soul charge for him. Okay. How do I go into... Back plus right trigger, I don't It's time for you to perish. There we go. Okay. It's time for you to perish. Oh my god, that damage was sick. Alright, hold on a second. so much that's, more like it. that's a natural oh my god it's a counter hit 
Oh boy, am I getting sick? Fuck. Alright, uh... Coming out with a cold? Call out from work tomorrow? Where is he? Uh, what's the new moves? A, B, forward A, B, back A, B. B, B, A plus B. I tried that. Something's not right. It's not doing it. Throwing soul charged. Oh, prep BBAB. -B -B. Okay. Seems okay. I've only been doing training mode so far, but it seems to run pretty smoothly for me. Runs better than tech, and I can tell you that much. Where you at, Raf? Ah, <sighs> soul charge. Okay, so we got that forward A B back A B is the only one. Try to unlock this dumbass tutorial real quick. See what the game teaches you. You're right about that. Tekken was better. Did run better for me when it first came out. I don't know what the fuck happened. And it seems like it doesn't happen to enough people. Because they would have patched it by now if enough people raised a stink about it. But whatever. It's part of the reason why when I used to play online at first, I used to never do it on PC. But then it just became fucking whatever. There's no excuse for Tekken to be running as poorly as it does though. Alright, so I gotta, if I wanna unlock the tutorial, I gotta play a little bit of this, right? I think. Let's up the volume a bit. I'm a Soul Calibur noob. Creator's name. Welcome to Character Creation. I appreciate that they do this. You know, this is cool for people that really get into the single player. And once upon a time, I was into the single player of this stuff. But, you know. Interesting. Let's 
sangue. For this tab, can I be using the following ones? Okay, whatever. Let's see. Can I just scroll through? How do I scroll through? I don't want this guy. Oh my god, so you just slowly scroll through other people's shit? It's just Sophie with like an open chest. The fuck? I need to get creative. Fuck. You can put her in Ivy's costume. Oh, Sans, that's from. Uh, Sans is from. Oh boy. What the fuck am I looking at right now? Sans is from uh, Underworld, right? Undertale? Is this supposed to be a soul, uh, a, a Souls character? Dark Souls? Or something? It's like a fucking. Oh boy, look at this. How do I rotate? Uh, there it is. Zoom in and out. Oops. Wait. So let's see how do I control this. What the fuck? It's doing two things at the same time. Oh my god, getting dizzy. Getting dizzy. What the fuck? The buttons are all fucked up because I'm using a TE2. Stop doing it. Stop. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> how do I stop it? That's how. Oh my god, what the fuck? I broke it, guys. This sucks. Okay. It's like an MMO. Outcast. Lizard Man! Oh shit! Lizard Man fighting like Raphael. Raphael. Autumn. Oh, that's creepy. A mummy? Shit. Lost soul. Should I make a Lizard Man that fights like Raph? I think I'm gonna do that. How do I stop this? How do I stop this? I fucking broke it permanently. Stop it, lizard man. Fuck. Alright, alright. Let's get out of there and we'll go back in. I feel like I'm gonna have to plug in the, my old 360 stick, but I don't want to. Because, uh. It's old. I wanna use this one, the buttons are good. Okay, good, we're back to this. I won't press those buttons again. Oh shit, Shishio! Shishio! Kizuna Tag Encounter? Sick. Neo Geo Battle Coliseum? Best stock. Cup hill, huh? Well, that looks weird. Yippee. Now we're gonna go with the best stock. Outrageous pack. Anime pack. We're definitely doing anime pack. <laughs> We're definitely doing anime pack. Evil. We're gonna be evil. Fuck that. Alright. Let's see what Lizard Man got going on. 
Like what? Oh. He's only male, huh? Alright. This is all fine. This. Gotta sound like a bitch who's gonna fight like Raph, right? <laughs> Sounds like you smoke too many cigarettes. Alright. That is, is that all I could do? Apparently that's it. Alright. Yeah, not too many options here, huh? Feather dress, pirate hat. So I gotta like actually play this mode to unlock some stuff. But who cares? We got the anime hit pack. Oh shit, loincloth. Oh, that looks awful. His fucking leg is clipping through it. What? Oh. Oh man, everything. If it didn't clip, I would consider using it, but it clips. No way to just test it. I have to hit A on everything. Everything clips on his fucking thighs, dude. Shit. Yeah. Cover your loins. Oh, sick. Let's go with uh, Roman. Even though it's clipping. Chef's tie. Oh shit. Oh my god, you can make some fucking gormless ass shit, right? Are you kidding me? Even here, we gotta deal with butterfly wings? Oh man, you are wearing that mantle, my friend. Can't change the color. How does he wear them? His feet aren't shaped that way. <sighs> Wait, what? What is this? Extra? <laughs> Are you kidding me? What the fuck? Where are the goggles? I don't see them. No common. My homie Liz, let's go. I don't give a fuck. He's my favorite. So how do I use him? Wait, wait, no, no, no. It's supposed to go to the Libra. Yeah, this, right? The ray of light from the evil side pierced. I don't care. 
here. I have one. Oh, dude. Where's my, uh, where's my guy? again there's stats why is there stats what the fuck all right Raph is average right I think he's average he's definitely a petite motherfucker Everything skinny. You're gonna be a Raphael. Except for this. For the gormless motherfuckers. For all the fuckboys out there. There you go. I really don't care how weird it's gonna look in the end. And she's pissed. I kinda miss Hilda. Hildegard was a cool character design. I mean, yeah, fuck her forever for SoCal before, but you know what? Who gives a fuck about SoCal before? I don't. about this hair all these faces look the same what the fuck there's something up with this face like this face it looks too big for her head <laughs> when you have a face like this you should probably have a bigger head it looks weird Sure, let's go with that. Whatever. Jagged layers. Hairstyle. What else you got? It's so annoying. I gotta select everything. That's Taki's hair, isn't it? Or uh, Sophia's hair, but, but dark. Brunette. Yeah, it's all like hairstyles that are already in the game, I think. That's Ivy's, right? Yeah. Okay. Cornrows? Oh, shit. And why, why is the default purple for cornrows? The fuck? Pink fro, pink bob. These default hair colors are really weird for these. Be real nice if I could rotate the character without the game going crazy on me. That's Tira. These are just like the the hair colors of the characters. Well, not the colors, but the default hair of the characters outside of a couple. Is that Setsuka's hair? Up to you. Sure, that's a Raphael hairstyle. If I ever saw one. Serious. Let's get this fight started. You look nice and tough. Let you look nice and tough. Elder sister sounds like jury. You look nice and tough. Are you ready? Are you ready? You look Are you ready? Let's get ready to suck it. Will you okay? Let's get this started. Okay, let's <laughs> Oh, that's sick. All right, we'll get back to that. <laughs> you look beautiful, dead. Oh. You, you look beautiful, dead. Oh yeah, you're an alien. You are definitely an alien. No, I like the way it sounds, just like that. Yeah, this girl's an alien. Where's the uh, Raphael story? I don't even know where it is. <laughs> oh my god, don't tell me I can't. Bipolar pulse and hassan device. Well, that's uh, Tira. She's supposed to be bipolar. That's why her stance has changed randomly. Gloomy and happy, whatever the other one's called. <sighs> Which one of these would be Raphael? Rapier? Yeah, Rapier probably. Character name, Kana. Wait, I can't change her clothing? I can't change her clothing. 
Kana's fine, sure. Confirm. I'm just trying to get to the, the tutorial to see how... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, we don't care. Convergence. Been moving. Oh my god. I don't, uh, don't ask anything. You're an alien. You can't talk. You don't want to give it away, you know, so you gotta stay quiet. Yes. Uh, drone a uh, shark's nest there. There it is. Yes. Let's see what this tutorial is all about. Will they do a better job than Tekken? Wait, how do I go to it? I remember the famous local dojo run by a well-respected man named Drona, who's reputed to be adept in all martial arts. Okay. So this is the usual RPG mode that these games have, but... Let's see. I don't care about the story. Let's just go. <laughs> Alright, what do you want me to do, game? Movement. I know how to do that. Yep. Completed. Seems like it's his Raph's body style. Can perform basic combo, crap, investing access, why, why, yep, simple shit. Let him do it. <laughs> He's taking a sweet time. All right. See, this is what Tekken needed, except uh, you know, showing you advanced shit, not just basic shit. So they're saying universally low taxes down back plus an attack button. I don't know about that game. Press and hold right bumper. Wow. So I gotta block the low and then do it. Okay. It's weird that they do it with a low. Huh. Wait. Do I hold it? Oh. That would be why. Okay, I get what they're saying. You could keep dodging if you hold it. Yeah, what's up, Nelly boy? You gotta keep holding it and you can dodge multiple attacks.
So Raphael's is safe if you read. Uh, I haven't tested really, but if you read the uh, the uh, tactic shit, it tells you, oh, you, you cannot be countered, which is the way they're basically saying can't be block punished. So this is cool, basically. Raphael's like trademark of six BBB. It's still a counter hit string. And when he, uh, one of the things you get in this mode is a forfeit that's also a counter hit string. That. And that's all one combo on counter hit. On top of shit like this. And this. <laughs> that guard break out of his standing uh, forward A. Nice, so basic tutorial down. Next. Oh shit, I was expecting this. Shut your mouth. On to the next one. It's cool that they really put effort into the single player. And this is kind of what I've always wanted for just about every fighting game where uh, you incorporate the tutorial into the single player stuff of the fighting game. Soulcopper was the first one to do this. It, it didn't do like the best job, but if you think about it, Soulcopper 1 on a Dreamcast was huge, right? Because of Dreamcast launch and shit. But when you played the uh, story mode or whatever, the single player mode, it would tell you to do weird shit. Like you could only hit your opponent when it's in the air. That's actually teaching you how to juggle. All they had to do was word things and explain things properly. You know, you could juggle with these attacks. If you air control, you could escape certain juggles and shit like that, you know? So yeah, hit with a crouching attack. Uh, oh yeah. Kick the shit out of this guy. While standing, see? While standing is such a weird concept if you come from, oh, while rising. Such a weird concept if you're coming from 2D. Who the fuck knows that just picking these games up? Like, while rising? What the fuck does that mean, right? Here, you, they incorporate it to the tutorial. Uh, dual button attack. Ha! Weird ass. This attack is so cool though. What is it, uh? How do you do it? Right? How do you do it the other ways, though? Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. So you can aim this attack down and up. See? <laughs> so it's like anti movement. You can stab forward while leaning back like an idiot and doing a fucking JoJo pose. Or you could aim it down or up. <laughs> fucking weird ass shit. Get the fuck out of my ring. Woo. Yeah, get out of my ring. It's not a ring out like I thought it would be. Yep. Still has that. Throwing. Does it tell you how to break them? <sighs> grab is to press uh, left trigger, which is X plus A, or back plus grab. That's new to this game. Before it was X plus A, uh, basically A plus guard or B plus guard. Now B plus guard gives you reversal edge, so it's A plus guard or back A plus guard. Sorry. Right. Break attacks by lightning, yes. Uh, my break attack is what is it? Uh, no. uh well I know one way to go into it. 
No, not that. That. There's a way to do that outside of prep. I don't remember it at the moment. So any time that's uh, that was something that they added in either part four or five. I forget. Whenever you see lightning in an attack, that means it's gonna fuck up your guard real bad. So you gotta be careful with that stuff. Next. This seems quite in depth. This tutorial. Loading's pretty fast, thankfully. It's not Tekken. So, 6A, uh, 6BBB, whatever, has uh, uh, just frame. I, I tried to do it there, but I missed it. Basically, she glows. There it is. And of course, wait. Yeah, that too. Anyway, that was done to me. So if the low counter hits you, he gets the full combo. Okay. That's a Mitsurugi move. I guess it got nerfed because he needs a counter hit now. say erect when I broke his guard. What is X plus Y for me? Fuck. I don't know what X plus Y is for me. Miss a kick specifically, weird. Okay. <sighs> this is the one. Nope, that's not what I'm trying to do. What? Did it whiff? So what's my lethal hit that beats this? Oh. I, 
I'm pretty sure I did that before. Okay. If I counter hit, it only... Okay, it's only during the parry portion of the lethal hit. The reason why I hit him regularly sometimes is because I hit him during the startup of the actual attack after lethal hit. Excuse me, my nose is like fucking annoying me right now. So that's why. So it has to actually be connecting while they're in like a guard sort of state. That was confusing, but I got it. Attack sidestep. So weak. So weak. So weak. So Lethal hits, that's specifically the counter throws. Yep. You could jump or low block. Oh, it's a remix of Killix Steam from uh, Soul Copper 1. Okay, so any button plus neutral or back. That's cool. Easier to deal with than before. It's still a guess. But you could get throw breaks by accident now, basically. Breaking the back one is a commitment. You have to, like, be sure. You're not going to get that one by accident, for the most part. <sighs> Ukemi, how to get off the floor? Okay, so it's only A now, huh? So, okay. I was doing it too early, that's why. It was when her feet hit the floor after sliding back.
I was tacking. Okay, got it. Yeah, Soul Cop is weird. You can instantly stand guard from the floor and shit. Yeah, air control. See, they teach you this shit. If I don't press anything, see? I can't go forward with it. Can't go back. This is what limits juggles in Soul Calibur. You need to, like, stun people or knock them into weird situations. Wait, GI does lows? Like, from standing? You don't have to guess high, mid, or low? Oh. Oh. with a guard effect. Nice. Even during the recovery of that, it looked like I still got it. That's cool. So now you have... Oh, man. You have another counter other than delaying your follow-up. You have a hard counter that gives you a nice reward because of the lethal hit mechanic. Thumbs up to that. I'm getting tuckered out already. Fucking overtime at work got me hard. Advanced reversal. A second round. Okay. The initiator will have the match the second round. So they will win an event of another stalemate. Interesting. So a lethal hit on the second round. Okay. The game hitched up for a second there. Huh. Oh, the force you put in guard will always crush their guard. Erect! I wonder if Lethal Hit gives you your follow up counter hit properties. Okay. He's moving to dodge and attack. Okay. through this earlier. I got an achievement for that. Eight-way run. Alright. 
And if you uh, sidestep during that, you could commit to your lethal attack for sidestep because you know you're doing it for B moves. So whatever your lethal attack is for that situation, you could commit to it. Interesting stuff. Oh, wow, it ends with that? Nothing more, huh? Well, all right, that was a pretty good tutorial. Well, I don't know what you guys think, but I'm digging it. I knew most of that stuff, just the reversal edge stuff is new to me, but for people that are coming in here, not sure. I feel like that did a pretty good job, I don't know. I mean, they're not gonna talk about step guarding, right? I mean, who knows how good that is in this game? Is that still even a thing anymore? Should I go online? <laughs> I don't even know my combos. Let, let, let's learn a, little, a few combos real quick. Also, I should learn what my ring outs are. <laughs> Welcome to the stage of history. What's up, Jinx Ellie? Is that Ellie? What's going on? Raphael. You think you can win? So it seems like my only low that's plus on normal hit at least is. 1B, if he goes into prep specifically. Without prep, he doesn't have any frame traps. So it's a commitment, for sure. Man, what's up with these weird-ass glasses? Also, wasn't he like a vampire or something in the last few games? Ah, well, Jinx, you, uh, should, if you do get the game, you should check out the tutorial that I just went through. You could do it by going to mission mode and going to the dojo. It actually does a pretty good run through. That doesn't take too long. Okay. So, um, so that's going to be one of my whiff punishes right there, right? This is the other one. He has a pretty good combo off of that if he lands counter hit, but I have to commit. I don't think I could tell in time. I have to commit to the stance. After that is whatever, but I have to commit to the stance. Right? Yeah. Okay. So, if I could, if I could verify that I landed a counter hit and then do the follow-up, the only thing I have to commit to is the stance. Alright, so it's... That, that's all a combo right there. If the first one that's counter hit. That is like his classic uh, whiff punish. Hmm. I don't even know what to do there. What could his wall combo be? Six damage, that was counter, that's why. So I'm counter. Nope, you could just frame that last hit. I don't know the timing now. So that's actually his best damage outside of that. Oh, not that. Outside of that. Which might get better Oki for all I know. Yeah, it looks like it definitely gets better Oki. But if you want more damage and possible ring out. Get that just frame version. If you don't get the just frame version, it's actually way less damage. 55. Versus 61. Six more damage with the just frame version. Yeah. I 
It's a lot, a lot of moves to remember. But, uh... So, he doesn't have a... He has that. Any ring outs here? No ring outs on the stage. Doesn't look like there's any ring outs here. Definitely his best combo is to go to commit to prep. If you don't commit to prep, I don't know what his best combo becomes. Cover too slow. I'm trying to course to go forward. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's because I try to adjust frame, that's why it's Without counter hit, that's not happening. So, that's one of the main counter hit tools. Uh, sorry, sidestep, anti sidestep tools. That's the knockout. He can go to prep out of that. Still has that. I suspect that this rings ring out behind him. Let me check. <sighs> the hell is well, his throw probably still rings out. As a matter of fact, I know it does. It said it in the description. Welcome to the stage of history we told. You think you can win? This won't take long. We need a ring out stage. Uh, restart. Ring side, wall side, ring side. Nice. So, still does it, right? Yeah. Alright, any lows? He used to have lows that ring now. Not anymore, apparently. So he has to, it's his throw. This used to ring out. That obviously does. Uh, so, no. Um, So that knocks down, but doesn't ring out.
Wait, what? Approach me, please. Is there an approach option? Oh, I was wrong. It's just a side switch. Okay. That sucks. Well, doesn't quite switch sides, but you know. Alright, fuck it. Let's play a little online. Why not? HM Lee. He seems pretty cool. I'm only familiar with Raphael from Soul Calibur 2. He's nothing like that, obviously. It doesn't seem like he has any lows that ring out. I couldn't think of any other ones. The knockdown lows don't ring out, so he has to, if they stand there, it's the grab that rings out. Now, that's not going to get them to duck on its own. Other people still duck, right? What the hell would I just do? Get out of here. I like this menu music. It's pretty good and soothing. Rankings, replays. Oh my god, replays. Tekken doesn't even have replays. Tekken 7 doesn't have replays. Welcome to casual mode. Oh, it's rooms only? I don't want to fucking... I just want to play random people. I don't want rooms. I pick my character. Uh. What's that reset there? Yeah, there are replays. Apparently he has a DP. Yeah, quarter circle back B. It's not invincible. It's one of his lethal hits. Uh, you have to counter a specific move to do it. Kind of already losing my patience here. <laughs> I set up a room and I'm like, eh, fuck this. Can I just only search for rooms that have two people limit? I don't want to join a room with mad people in it. Oh my god, these connections are all X'd out. Okay, it took a while to load, that's why. Fuck it, I'll go to ranked. I don't care. I'm sure there's people in ranked for some reason. There's always people that play online before they even look at their character's moves. Hell, I shouldn't be playing online myself right now. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care. Whatever. What? Oh, I gotta change my character from here? Sure, whatever. I don't care. I don't care. Just give me a match. Hmm. It's all new to you? Hmm. Yeah, so Caliber is fun, man. Uh, the movement is easy. Unlike Tekken, the movement is not as complicated. And the options to, to beat out movement aren't as complicated, right? And Tekken has homing moves, but those aren't your only options to beat sidestepping. Right? So Kyber, it's like you got horizontal attacks. It's 
Straightforward. There's a button called horizontal attack. A. Now, not all horizontal attacks are great tracking moves, but you could tell based on the animation, like, that swings in that direction, that's probably a good tracking move. Like, it makes sense visually. Is that so? Kyber has historically been very good at like visually indicating what's going on. Wow, I guess there's nothing going on here. All right, let's go join that room with two people. Maybe people uh, don't know that this came out today. Link three one six isn't that that link? No, link SRC whatever, right? That's his name. A really good player, uh, or something RC. Why they all X'd out the connections? I think this one was good before. I don't know. Let's see. I've entered the arena. My soul still burns. Oh uh, man, I'm a four bar with the host. This is very exciting. We're watching your match play out. Now it's good that it's like this. You don't want it to like let you spectate in the middle of a match because that could lag the match or so I've heard when uh, games used to do that and that's why they stopped allowing that in pretty much any fighting game you have to wait it out and you'll be able to spectate after the fact what's up hunk for hire I don't know what I'm doing but I'm online for some reason I'm really wondering how this is doing on PC I'm really curious I feel like, like Tekken on PC has had a decent, you know, amount of people playing. I feel like I, I can't say the same for Soul Calibur, right? I don't know if Soul Calibur is going to be, you know, bumping like that on PC. Maybe this, this is fucking deserted in the long run. I already committed to the uh, Ultimate Edition on PC, so that would suck. Yeah, I agree. That's the first thing I try to do. I try to search for casuals and and we're having none of that shit. I have to fucking wait in a room. I hate waiting in a room. I really do. I don't like this shit at all. I don't like the feeling of a game wasting my time. I don't like the feeling of losing and being in the back of the line. Like, that was a cool thing in the arcades, but, like, I don't got the time to be sitting here. I gotta wake up at 5.30 a.m. for work. I don't got time to be sitting here waiting in fucking room rotations and shit. It also gives the ability to people uh, for uh, the room host to kick you out. Like if you try to join a room with multiple people, they'll kick you out. Shit is whack. I bet you that if the host leaves, you get kicked out too. Uh, this feels a little weird. I don't know. I can't tell if this is laggy or not. You think you can win? Oh boy. This might be laggy. It's not looking good. You can visually see it. It already looks bad. I have no idea how to block any of this shit. I hesitated because I forgot what to what to do with the combo.
fuck. Strings, baby, strings! You don't know where it ends! <laughs> meter at all i love it this is true day one right here i probably could have ducked that kick right i i don't know shit about max i finally blocked that stupid low he was doing though yeah i still got my glasses on you saw that shit Woo. how do i play this game welcome to the stage of history Wait, same guy? How does this work? Strings, man. Strings. Delay. Victory. Oh, man, that's fucking 6-6-B six, six is still such a good whiff punisher. I love it. You do anything, you just hop forward and bop right in your fucking face. And that shit, the move name has broken in the name, which is great. 
Oh, hey, the host left and the room stayed up. Welcome That's to cool. Of history, What's going on, Mansfield game? Not at the moment. Oh my god, I don't know what the hell is about to happen here. Mr. Blader. A merchant Oh, why the duck? Oh, that's a high. I thought that was a mid. I was thinking while standing four, like second, you know what I'm saying? Oh my God, that ringed out. <laughs> Delay the low punk. You like that shit. What happened to the sidestep? I sidestepped. That didn't look like a, a horizontal attack. See, right there, I sidestepped. Don't sidestep. Alright. Alright. Oh, what? I ain't gonna run back like the other guy did? Come on, bro. I don't want to wait. Oh, I don't want to wait for this. Oh, oh, I don't want to wait. This sucks, man. Can I leave? Let me leave. Let me leave. How do I leave? How do I leave? Did he say his own name? <laughs> it's not like you say Yoshimitsu. I got. Oh, yes. I can't see his his uh, bars though. What kind of bars are we rocking? Four bars. Let's go. You rocking four bars? Let's go. Good enough for me. Are you even... Oh, my God. Why would you open up a room if you're not there? Why would you open up a room if you're not there?
Uh, I mean, I could try to do moveless breakdowns, but I don't know this, you know? I know Tekken, I don't know this game. This series. Why are these people fucking hosting two-man rooms and just AFKing? Oh, God. Why? What are you people doing? Wasting my time is what you're doing. Fuck, man. You could join this room. Mads Field Games. It's apparently I'm the host now. How, you can't spectate a two-man room. You're either playing or you're not. I really don't have the patience for this. Fuck is that name? That's just gonna like crash my game. Welcome to the stage of history retold. Raphael, you think you can win? Die. Create a character. I don't even know how to punish my own character. You're not gonna... gonna hit me. gonna match B for sure. That's like his Mishima 112 except he needs a counter hit for it to work. Another one, motherfucker. Eat it. Ah, 
I'm not committing to prep. I'm trying to commit to prep and get the combo, but it's weird. Turn the favor for you, friend. I'll learn how to punish my own character if I keep playing a guy like this. I thought he did the super when I whiffed, but he just activated uh, Soul Charge. I was like, oh, he's going to hit me. And he did the wrong thing. Welcome to the stage of history. Oh, that stage was crazy. That's not how you follow that up at all. Some track. I don't even know if that's unsafe. Did it hit him. Victory goes to the last one standing. Step guard. His slipper is safe and is spaced very well.
What? I got counter hit? Why? Huh, why'd I get counter hit by that last uh, 6 BBB? Oh, whatever. Chrissy, he looks right now with his fucking gear. Sure know that was coming. Hey, thanks for the follow. 999 clam. We go one more time. So Fidia is the other character that's always the same, right? Outside of a few differences, so I could like just randomly pick her right now and I'll probably know some of the basics of what to do. <laughs> she still looks like Gabrielle from Xena. Not as much as she did in SoCal 1, but she's always looked like Gabrielle from Xena to me. Oh, he didn't know. Poor guy. He didn't know the so Calibre one shit. Mid, low, mid. <laughs> gonna hit me. Oh, 
Oh, right in the crotch. Dude, she stabbed him in the dick. And then she shot lightning and blocked it. <laughs> she stabbed him in the dick. Look. Oh. <laughs> Yo, she stabbed him in the dick, dude. And then we never saw him again. Or his offspring. I got another achievement, apparently. The only way is up. Alright, good games, dude. Good games. Weird name. Let's go back. Let's have a little looky looky at Astaroffy. to the stage of history retold. Astaroth. Huh. The darker tone on his armor looks nice. Actually, uh, eh, the textures are like a little, a little, a little bit rough, you know. What do we got here? Damn maggot! Damn maggot! I'm good to hear his, uh, what sounds like his same voice actor. Astaroth. Astroff's so cool. Hold on, before I do this, let me check something in the office. I saw something about the music. Some sort of setting that I didn't look into. Not here. Here. Oh, interesting. Ah, oh, they fooled me. Does that mean it's going to be DLC? That we could get music from past So Calibur games? Aw, oh, you fuckers. I got hyped when I saw, like, you know, a toggle. Yoshimitsu has a sick theme in part five. Welcome to the stage of history retold. Retold. Astaroth. Damn maggot! Astaroth. Astaroth. All right. Let's go with the... Uh, let's start with the... Horizontal attacks. Okay. CH, what does that mean? Throw. Throw. Do you mean that on counter hit, maybe? So if the second hit counter hits, it's a throw. Interesting. Which is probably why it is. It's delayable. Yes, thought so. Okay. Yeah, there it is. See, it shows you right there. Okay, cool. And it should, that, that should tell you right there how to use the move. You use the first hit to check them. Or the second hit checks them. That's a classic. Counter hit, he does that. That, uh, in Soul Cover 5, gave him a free crouch grab. Does that do the same here? Like, uh, record it, right? Let's try it. Uh, man, I have to, like, do a slow move to get counter hit on purpose. Yeah, 
Yep. He still does. Yep. Still gets a guaranteed crouch grab attempt. Yeah, I, I can't even super. So that's good. So anytime you see that animation, I don't think it's the only move that does that animation either. The first two, the first one did that, right? Hey, hey. He gets a guaranteed crouch grab attempt. That was like this weird thing where he has, um... Hold on a second. What is it? No, turn that off. Didn't I turn that off? I don't know if he still has a string. He had some Soul Cobber 5 string where he holds you up with his axe, runs up, and then just tosses you into the air, and then you land standing. That also made you recover crouch, and he got a guaranteed crouch throw attempt. So if he didn't know how to uh, break that cr uh, a certain crouch grab, he essentially had an infinite near the wall in Soul Cobber 5. <laughs> as long as he had meter to burn, because he had to do this, which is another classic, the EX version of this. Get out of my face! Oh, he still has that. Ooh. Right. Trulo. Discuss. Double discuss. This is a classic. Oh, wow, that's an armor breaker, but it's so easy to sidestep. That's a classic. I think that's, like, his fastest get-off-me counter hit tool. But it's still slow. Historically, it's been that. But it does the same thing. You get a guaranteed crouch grab attempt. Ooh, guard break version. That's... I think that's new. Yes, this is a counter hit launcher, I, I believe. Which is also tied to this. Same thing, counter hit. The Sidon's tied, the classic. Can he still charge a second hit? Yes, he can. Can he get an unblockable out of it? Apparently not. Command kicks. Castigate. Oh, that's cool. So basically, both of his crouch grabs. Yeah, those are just both of his crouch grabs. They're tied to this string, I guess. So that's a mix up. Throw break mix up. That's the one. Axe offering. So basically, when this counter hits, B forward B. Change new input, I guess. See? Yep, yeah, ring out. No? Yes. So that's still a guaranteed crouch grab it looks like when it counter hits that stern. And basically there was a way to do that at the wall. You do that as your wall combo and then he would still get those properties and he will run up with you and you will land in front of him. And that same grab I just ringed out with, if he grabbed you with that, boom, boom, it re-splats you and he could do the same thing over and over again. It's pretty funny. So you better know how to break that shit. This is not hard to do, but, you know, it's certainly a pretty good noob killer. Okay. That's a counter hit tool. Ooh, that's new, I think. This is rigor ass launcher. He does have the unblockable, but it's not out of the string. Okay. This, uh, you, in Soul Calibur 5, I, no, no, the sidestep one. Okay, the stomp. Never mind. Decent low. Knock down low. Bear Fang. This is a classic good move for him. That's why. <laughs> Charge it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Okay. Lethal hit on this. So he has to do a slow ass shit to lethal hit. Yeah. 
Okay, we're going over. Do you still have that knee? Oh, he still has that hit throw for the charge. That's also a lethal hit. Interesting. There's the knee. Is that a normal hit? I don't think that happens on normal hit. Bull rage. So there was something about this in one of the older games. I think it was part five. You were able to instantly do this from full crouch, and it's much better than his forward forward kick version. I don't remember the trick though. Great kick. Time to die. That's a classic ring I move. Classic. So his uh, charged up 3B used to be an Oki tool, I think, because you, you could cancel it. It doesn't seem like you can anymore. I did that already. Uh, just if you don't know anything about Soul Calibur, just play tutorial in the mission mode. It's good. Does he have the stomp? Ooh, that used to cause you to spin. Now it just knocks you down. That's a classic to pick you up off the floor or hit you while you ground. It's an Oki too, mainly. Decent whiff puncher too, I think. This is one you could charge, right? Yep. And I think you could cancel it. That's the, that's the regular bull rush I was just talking about it. This. If you hit an opponent, yeah, see? So, Soul Calibur 5, if you hit an opponent grounded, that would still happen. So, the Soul Calibur 5 shit was... Right, yep. Trying to sidestep uh, B. That, that was a combo. That's still a combo now. And it's a lot of damage. 70. He might have better stuff now, but that's a classic. And the thing about Soul Calibur 5 is that EX moves in the EX version of that last hit would knock him off the floor and send him into the air. And then he could do an air throw, which is guaranteed. Basically. Like this. Oh, that's not an air throw. That rings out. Historically, at least. I mean, he was going to get ringed out there anyway. But I suppose that would prevent, like, uh, weird angles and air control from fucking it up. That rings out from quite far. All right. Yeah. 
That looks really bad when the axe doesn't go over their face or neck. Does he still have that really cool back throw? I really hope he does. When he throws in the air, this rings out from far away. Yes! Oh, that throw is so good. <laughs> it's the power bomb. He doesn't have that regularly from standing anymore. So this is a wall of stage. I'm curious if that's still wall splats. Oh, he only has this on soul charge mode, it says. Oh, so it's a third hit. So is this his old EX stuff? Interesting. Boom, and then the second one, right? So in soul charge, he has the EX versions. Okay, that's cool. AG? Wait, wait, wait. How did he do that? How did he do that? Is that soul charge only? The side, the eight-way run up, up, down, down, B. Oh, EX. Uh, sorry, uh, just frame. Wow, soul charge, huh? Yes, that's another one. So you have to guess between two. I believe these are separate throw breaks, and they both fucking hurt, right? This, this, this one, Titan Bomb, and this air throw that leads to any juggle, basically. That's a good ring out to it, probably. Buzz off! <laughs> anti air dude that's how you can follow up the air throw by the way and there's a just frame he had this before also this isn't new so you can just frame both throws ground grab stand up bunk and he gets a frame advantage <laughs> it's like jeffrey and wolf in virtual fighter i think that's new I wonder what the properties is of uh, that run. He's like red during it. Is that armor? Oh. I wonder if that uh, rings out. Just frame. Oh wow, he need him. Slam him on his knee. <laughs> so Astar's still the grappler. Damn, you could probably get a sidestep uh, B that's a follow it up into a, 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 a sidestep K and then sidestep B after this. Cool. Armor! It is armor. So those grabs, those new grabs, those are armor grabs. Huh. And if that armors, he gets the bonus of being a, uh, if it being a lethal hit. Oh, that's a really good move. To have a lethal hit, that's actually a really great move for him. It's always been a good move for him, but now that it's a lethal hit, it's even better. It seems like it catches backdash. Yeah, he backs that. Interesting. Oh, so using this as a whiff punish, which is something he always did anyway, he gets lethal hit now. So while Soul Charge, he has the old EX version? Hold up, I gotta find out. Huh. This probably has to grab them when they try something, not when you throw them in the air. Yeah, this is nothing new. All these land is lethal hit when you. Interesting. Alright, so. Sorry. 
So he can't get it anymore? Wow, he can't get the follow-up grab anymore? see something. <sighs> he still got it! Okay, he just needs Soul Charge to get his old EX moves. Interesting. Essentially, no, I, was, I was charged. Ugh. I'll get it. Oh, my God. <laughs> but that could ring out if he's just a little bit further. Like, maybe here. Oh, yeah, definitely from here. Are you kidding me? Wait, how is this look? Shut up! Oh, this super is cool. <laughs> Is there no way to combo? What the? Yeah, no way to combo into this, huh? Universal low ring out tool. Counter hit that works for sure. Yeah, that knocks it to the air on counter hit. Wow, that damage. Oh my god. That damage is crazy on counter hit. 62? That's like a quarter of a health bar. Look at that. Oh, one fifth maybe. So he still has this for Oki. It's Lanier, but if you stay down and you try to guard or whatever, he could let it go. And that's a grip, but it was counter hit, so. Basically, it's gonna. You do, you do this a couple of times during Oki, they're gonna start getting up and pressing buttons for sure.
So the big, just like before, the reason why you would want that full crouch, full head, is because from full crouch, it rings out and knocks down. So I don't know if that old trick still works. I don't even remember what the old trick was. Some dude on Xbox Live showed it to me. See that? There it is. Yep, there it is. Basically, you have to be moving around. And while you're moving in any direction, forward, back, up, down, left, right, eight-way run, you know, up, forward, whatever. You input, uh, input it as uh, 3G, and then you go right to B. Think about, like, tech in G till the B. So down, forward, G till the B while you're moving. If you're going to play Astar, from my opinion, this is a really good move to have as a knockdown ring out tool. Really good. Because usually you have to be a full crouch to get it to knock down that way. Wait, was that a counter hit? So this does ring out, huh? That's scary. So the oh, it's angle dependent. It's angle dependent. All right. All right. So that's another one. Pretty much your follow up, that or is it that? Ah, uh, this is also classically a really good Oki tool. I don't, I don't think it hits grounded, but the idea is that they get up and guard or press anything. You can counter hit them, which uh, allows you to get another one for free if you don't charge it. See. And then it's also a frame trap, historically, if you do the full charge and then do the regular one right after, that used to be a, a frame trap. Man, Astaroth seems shit. Fucking armored grabs, dude? <laughs> Yo, he just tossed him down. <laughs> Damn, dude. And that's armor. Oh, get the Fuck out of here, dude. Jesus Christ. What? Fight. Man. I want to really get into the nitty gritty and find out how many hits and shit like that, but it's getting late. I'm going to take Astar for online like once or twice, though. Let's see what happens. I can't wait for like the weekend. Daredevils tomorrow. And more Soul Calibur, man. I'm probably going to. I'm going to be free all weekend, so I'm probably going to try to find some time to maybe, depending on how my feelings, finish off lay. But, man, does who gives a fuck about second right now, man? Right? This shit is out. Who gives a fuck about second right now? Nobody gives a shit about second. They would be smart to save the rest of their character announcements for, like, a good month or so after this. For uh, season two. What's up, pal? What up, bro? Welcome to Backers. the stage of history retold. <sighs> Astaroth, damn maggot! This won't take long. Oh, it's my boy. It's my boy. See if this guy is any good with him. Could show me what to do next time I play him. Blood flesh. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my ring. <laughs> oh boy.
Wrong. Oh, I thought that would work. Have some dignity. With my blade, I shall forge a new world. Yes, Rath. Let him know. Battle four. Fight. Time for you to okay. Oh wow, I fucked up. Oh shit. I tried to so Oh, I lost all my meter? What the fuck happened to my meter? That's weird. It's weird, that used to be forward AA. And I tried to do it a couple of times and it got counter hit. And I'm like, no, it's back, it's back AA. I should look at what else his soul charge does other than give him EX moves. Welcome to the stage of history retold. Asteroid, you think you can win? You think you can win? <laughs> the design. Welcome. Battle one. Fight. Got you. Get the fuck out of here, punk ass. Good. You're quiet now. Try to have some dignity. 
Oh, too slow. Burn your meter, that's okay. Christ Almighty! Good. You're quiet now. This fucking guy. <laughs> Alright, I'm about to be on this guy. Let me be on this guy right now. I counter hit him. I thought I'd mash it out. Up my own. What I meant to do, I ain't cut to my run.
Ah, oh, I fucked up. I fucked up some key time, uh, key moments. So I have as I jump around with a few characters before I know what I'm doing. Still gonna fuck you up, son. Let's go. Welcome to the stage of history retold. Raphael. You think you can win? This won't take long. Wow, where did the fucking uh, reversal edge come out? It didn't come out. Alright, come on, bitch. Wait. Oh, that's his meter? Oh, you sack of shit. Ah, I tried to... Ah. I was looking at the wrong meter. Both of the times I got thrown there, I was looking at the wrong meter. Oh, you lucky sack of shit, dude. Alright. Alright. Let's go, bitch. Welcome to the stage of history retold. Raphael. I tried to, um, not reversal edge, um, soul charge twice, thinking I had the one meter and it was him. Let's 
Go pin there, ho. What that? What y'all at, my? All right, cool. Come on, let's go. You like playing these games? Come on. Plus on block mashing, bitch. Crush. All right. You got lucky there. Yeah, you mash on that shit, motherfucker. That's right. Come on. I teach this motherfucker a lesson right now. Yeah, the glasses are pretty bad. You could customize your characters if you want to be a gormless motherfucker. And they just allow me to remove the, cla the glasses and keep everything else the same. I'm down with it. Oh my god, I was mashing to break the throw and I did that attack by accident. I got whiff punished because of it. Stupid shit. Okay, 
ass, come on. I had mad reach all of a sudden. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yes. Let's go. <laughs> that was weird. He didn't do anything. I just clipped through him. <laughs> These fucking matches are the most gormless fucking stupid matches ever, right? <laughs> Didn't want the rubber match, we were up two two. Two up. The desire battle one. Fight. Oh, okay. 
gonna be one of those matches, huh? That's cute. Let's go. I don't know shit about this character. That's okay. Let's go, bitch. Stop that cancel. Out of my room, bitch. Up. I committed. I really thought he would duck and I committed to the stance. Yo, this super takes so fucking long, shit. Just kidding. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, 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 shut up. Thanks for the exercise. Let's go, bitch. Welcome to the stage of history. I'm gonna respect that trash.
Fuck, bitch! The battle is over. Show respect for the fallen who fought so So Fidia is always the character where you, that you uh, use the basics against. Am I playing Bloodhawk? I don't know. <laughs> if I am, I already bad mattered him, so he's pretty pissed. I don't think this is Bloodhawk, though. Is that his name? I don't think I am. I don't think that's his name. He has like a normal, his normal name on Twi on uh, on uh, Steam. Welcome All right, it's already Steam eleven. Let me fuck this guy up one more time. So Raphael, you have to actually know his intricacies and shit to use him. But I guess his fucking character, I don't know what's going on. So I'm gonna play with basics, Sophia, just basic ass Sophia. It's like I'm playing vanilla gin right now. Straight up. Basics. Put me back. Huh? Wow, that had so much range. Holy shit. <laughs>
fucked. <laughs> mashing, mashing, and I'm plus on block. How many times do I have to counter hit you with BB until you realize that I'm fucking plus on block? For fuck's sake. You're lucky I don't know the exact frames. I would have been blowing them up even fucking harder. Bitch. <laughs> Is this too fun? Welcome to the stage of history retold. So Here I go. Yeah, I think Bloodhog is just Bloodhog. I'm gonna kill you. Oh man, a character I know even less about. But you should know about Sophia. If you played one Soul Calibur game, Sophia, nothing that I'm doing is new. Plus on block. Excuse me. I don't know these things. That was a low. <laughs> That you can't GI those. I don't even know what to do when I break your fucking armor, punk. Baby dead. <laughs> All right, I really gotta go to sleep. Do it uh, easier. So Calibre is much easier than Tekken, but you got you gotta learn. There's still a lot to learn. The move lists are, you know, I'm no So Calibre expert, but you know, it's obvious if you've like played 3D fighters and shit. The uh, move lists are a lot shorter in So Calibre for one. Uh, so Calibre is a bit more mechanics heavy. Uh, Games, amigo. Oh, he left. All right. I was gonna say good games, but I don't know how to bring up chat, and he left anyway. Um. So Cobra is more mechanics heavy, especially now. There's all sorts of weird shit. Lethal hit is a weird mechanic that you know. Um, and there's armor now with with uh, specifically with Astro. I don't think anybody else has armor. There's more just frames, but they're pretty much easier. So Cobra had Patroclus, and before that, said Suka, who were more like really hard just frame characters. But on paper, especially Alpha Patroclus specifically, he was like the best character or one of the best in the, in the game on paper in So Cobra Five. But his execution barriers were too high. Um, so Cobra is more about range, learning the range of your weapon than anything else. It's not about like constant frame traps and shit like that. 
Movement is a lot easier. You just gotta hold up or down. You tap, sidestep, and you could still step guard in this game. It's not as effective as it was in Soul Calibur 2, but... Um, yeah. If you know anything about just basic whip punishing and shit like that and movement, what's up, KO? Oh, uh, you don't like Soul Calibur 6? Really? I like it. Alright, I have to go to sleep. I gotta wake up in just a few hours for work. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, I'll try to upload this to my YouTube. Uh, I want to go more in depth, but I, I need to learn uh, frame data, at least at a basic level. And to do that, I got to learn, I got to like read up on, find some info on what's, like there's no jabs in this game. Like the closest thing is like generic AA is like Sophidia's, which is not really that generic, is it? So, I don't know. Ah, well, I don't care about the costume, so it doesn't bug me. Whatever. So yeah, I don't really know how to find anything other than knowing when I'm plus and knowing when I'm negative. By picking the mirror characters. That's that's all I know how to do. I mean, that may be enough, I guess. But then it becomes like, what can I, you know... What can I... Uh, like, I, I gotta get general idea that I think Raphael's fastest move is 6B. So, if I could beat out 6B in any sort of frame match situation, then it's obvious that, like, alright, I got a huge frame match. The other thing is visual indicators. This game has a lot more of them. Anytime you see those, light, those lightning, like, blue lightning attacks, those are all, like, guard crush. And they typically seem to be always heavy plus on block so that's another thing i gotta look out for like that sophia fucking punch that i was using on that guy that goes under highs that's like an old move she had and now that shit like guard breaks so it's like, bang get into that shit you know so i already know all that so yeah that's another thing you can look for all right i gotta go have a good night everybody thanks for tuning in i'll see you when i see you until next time adios let me see who i could host here